I thank you. My name is Anthony Dakin. I'm the police chief here at the university. Um, apparently it's Marine Corps Combat Veteran Day because I am too. Um, th this year and last I went up and testified um, at the request of the university against this legislation and against similar legislation in past years. The three chiefs, as you heard, are unified in their opposition of legislation that brings more weapons on campus. We distributed this year a letter to the legislature uh, at the Senate uh, Judiciary Committee that essentially outlined five areas of concern, and I'll talk about those very briefly. The first is training. You've heard about training. Um, I keep hearing about training from those who um, maybe are trained, but the reality is that under the current law, in order to obtain a CCW permit, um, there is a variety of training, and I will outline just two of them that are um, equivalency for the training. One is to have a DD-214 form. Those of us who are in the military know what that is. With that, and by submitting that, you don't have to take a training class because the theory is that the military did that for you, no matter how long ago that was. The other is a hunter safety class, which can be taken online. During the field day that you have at the, end of, at the conclusion of your online class, you will either shoot a 22 rifle or, or a pistol, or a uh, pellet rifle. Um, I haven't ever come in contact with anyone who carried one of those concealed, which means they're carrying something other than they were trained with, if that's their route of training. Law enforcement, on the other hand, goes through a thorough uh, selection process, 18 weeks of academy training, 18 weeks of field training, 70 hours minimum of firearms training, and then there is recurrent training throughout the year, each year, and, for, and police officers are only allowed to carry a weapon for which they are qualified and which they are currently qualified. The second issue for us on campus with guns is, train, is uh, theft. Everyone here knows we have a theft problem. As hard as we work against it, there's a theft problem. Backpacks are stolen, laptops are stolen, things are stolen out of dorm rooms and everywhere else. Library, public buildings. We're concerned about the security of weapons. Weapons currently are prohibited on campus. If someone sees a weapon and it's not on a police officer, they likely think that it's not supposed to be here. The likelihood of them reporting it is much greater than if they know that weapons are permitted on campus, and then they have to determine whether the person is properly permitted. The other issue is alcohol and drugs. Alcohol and drugs are a problem on any college campus. We respond to way too many um, calls with people who are intoxicated, impaired, uh, who are vulnerable, Ten and, seconds. and then the issues that occur because of that. So the bottom line for the police chiefs is that the in the balance, law enforcement is the best response. There may be occasions where someone with a gun could intervene. There are much major, many more occasions where something bad can happen with the proliferation of guns on campus. Thank you.